What is freedom of speech? This presentation will be given by Eric Sanders Esquire, owner and president of the Sanders Firm PC. The purpose of the presentation. The primary purpose of this PowerPoint presentation is to raise awareness with respect to your civil rights. Note, these are very general, and I mean very general guidelines. This PowerPoint presentation is not intended to convey specific legal advice or create an attorney-client privilege with the Sanders Firm PC or its agents. Overview. The First Amendment of the United States Constitution guarantees the freedom of speech, whereas it states, Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or bridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Over the years, the United States Supreme Court has struggled to determine exactly what constitutes protected speech. Some jurists believe that freedom of speech is unconditional, while others believe that the United States Constitution places limitations on speech under certain conditions. The prevailing thought is the latter, whereas it grants a person the right not to speak. For example, decline to salute the flag of the United States as in the case of West Virginia Board of Education versus Barnett at 319 U.S. 624, the 1943 case, or to engage in symbolic speech like flag burning as in Texas versus Johnson at 491 U.S. 397, which is a 1989 case, or United States versus Eichmann, 496 U.S. 310, it's a 1990 case. In 1989, the United States Constitution passed the Flag Protection Act, 18 U.S.C. 7, section 700, that's of the code, which reads, whoever knowingly mutilates, defaces, physically defiles, burns, maintains on the ground, floor or ground, or trampled upon any flag of the United States shall be fined under this title or imprisoned for not more than one year or both. There were several challenges to this Act 2 of the seminal cases are Texas versus Johnson and United States versus Eichmann, the two citations I uh, gave earlier. In both cases, the actors set fire to the United States flag as a form of protest. The question posed to the United States Supreme Court whether or not the First Amendment right of free speech protected their actions. The court ruled that the flag burning is considered protected speech under the First Amendment. The court has also been called upon to decide what is not protected speech, such as inciting actions that would harm others, such as yelling fire in a crowded movie theater, students making obscene speech during school-sponsored events, that case is Bethel School District Number 43 versus Frazier, Citation 478 U.S. 675, the 1986 case, or to print articles in a school newspaper over the objections of the school administration. That's Hazelwood School District versus Colmeyer, which is 484 U.S. 260, and that's a 1988 case. In Bethel versus Frazier, Frazier, a male student, gave a speech during a public assembly where he nominated another male student used an elaborate graphic and explicit sexual metaphor, also known as a double entendres, which means that he used words capable of two meanings. One, obvious interpretations, and two, subtle interpretations, usually sexually suggestive to describe him. Frazier's speech was as follows. I know a man who is firm. He's firm in his pants. He's firm in his shirt. His character's firm. But most of all, his belief in you, the students of Bethel, is firm. Jeff Coleman is a man who takes his point and pounds it in. If necessary, he'll take an issue and nail it to the wall. He doesn't attack things in spurts. He drives hard, pushing and pushing until finally he succeeds. Jeff is a man who will go to the very end, even a climax for each and every one of you. So please vote for Jeff Coleman, as he'll never come.
between us and the best our school can be. He is firm enough to give it everything. Frazier was suspended for two days and the father filed a lawsuit in federal district court alleging violations of Frazier's First Amendment right to freedom of speech. The court ruled in favor of Frazier. Bethel appealed. The Court of Appeals affirmed the lower court's decision in favor of Frazier. Bethel appealed to the United States Supreme Court. The Supreme Court ruled, however, that it was appropriate for the school to prohibit the use of obscene and offensive language. Chief Justice Warren Burger concluded that the First Amendment did not prohibit schools from prohibiting vulgar and lewd speech, and it was perfectly appropriate for the school to disassociate itself to make the point to pupils that vulgar speech and lewd conduct is wholly inconsistent with the fundamental values of public school education. Hazelwood School District versus Colmeyer. In Hazelwood School District versus Colmeyer, journalism students in Hazelwood East High School were in the process of publishing a school sponsored newspaper. One issue featured stories on teen pregnancy and divorce. The school's principal thought the stories were inappropriate, and prior to the publication, he deleted the two pages containing the stories without informing the journalism students. The students were upset because they had not been given the opportunity to make changes. The students felt their First Amendment rights had been violated. They filed suit in the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Missouri. The court sided with the school ruling that the school had the authority to remove and regulate speech they deemed appropriate. The students appealed decision to the United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit. The appeals court reversed the lower court, finding that the paper was a public forum and that the school officials could censor its content only under extreme circumstances. The school appealed decision to the United States Supreme Court and reversed the appellate court decision, ruling that a school does not have to allow student speech if it is inconsistent with the school's educational policy. Conclusion. After viewing the facts and circumstances of numerous Supreme Court cases, the question remains, what is freedom of speech? And you know the answer is, it depends. About Eric Sands, Esquire, owner and president of the Sands Firm PC. Eric Sands is an active member of several legal organizations, including the National Employment Lawyers Association, the National Employment Lawyers Association, New York chapter, the American Bar Association, New York State Bar Association, and the American Association of Justice. He has also served as general counsel to the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives, New York Chapter. As a retired police officer, he holds memberships with several professional law enforcement organizations, including the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives and the Fraternal Order Police. Eric earned a bachelor's of arts degree from the Delphi University and graduated from the St. John's University School of Law. He holds a license to practice law in the New York State Courts as well as the federal courts in the United States District Courts for the Eastern, Northern, and Southern Districts of New York. He has appeared before the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, New York State Division of Human Rights, NYPD Trial Room, New York City Office of Administrative Trials and Hearings, as well as other related proceedings. In 2008, Eric received the You Can Go to College Committee Foundation Humanitarian Award. In 2015, Eric received a prestigious 2016 Man of the Year Award from the Covert Chronicles USA. Eric is available to speak about the law, specifically individual civil rights, as well as other areas. Recently, he appeared as a panelist for a legal symposium hosted by the St. John's University School of Law's Journal for Civil Rights and Economic Development. At the symposium, which was entitled Criminal Justice in the 21st Century, the challenge to protect individual freedom, civil rights, and our safety he discussed racial profiling, police accountability, and individual rights. About the Sanders Firm PC. The Sanders Firm PC offers those in the New York City area legal services related and connected to civil rights, civil service rights, criminal law, and discrimination. 
We firmly believe in everyone's individual rights, rights that are described and guaranteed by the Constitution of the United States of America. We understand our freedoms and liberties are sacrosanct and that have been won in many and various hard fought battles. We are committed in every way to protecting your civil rights. If you have any questions or comments about the content of the slideshow presentation or general inquiries of the Sanders Firm PC, please feel free to contact us on the website, social media channels, or you can contact us at the New York office, 212-808-6515, um, or the Yonkers office, 914-226-3400. This has been another presentation by the Sanders Firm PC, and remember, we are your voice for justice.